What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Grunt Speak, Not So Live. <laughs> You're a source for the inebriated truth in a world gone to hell. Hell yeah! I'm Toxic Mail. That's Fat Punisher. Uh, shut up with that, <laughs> man. You're killing me. <laughs> God damn it. And you know, Fat Punisher loves the ladies, especially on today. What is it? National Police Woman Day. All right, let me. All right. 130 pounds of pure weapons grade badass. Here's some <laughs> Army stories about that, right? So in the Army Reserves, a lot of women who are in my unit also worked as, you know, paramedics. A couple were cops. All right. Now, these women who were cops would come in, and they had the arrogant cop attitude. But they could barely pass their PT test. Mm -hmm. You put a, a ruck on them, they could walk maybe four miles. It was fucking pathetic. Yeah. I mean, it was unbelievably how fucked up they were. I mean, what it was, 84% of women fail the combat ready test. For yeah, I mean, I, so. I personally, that, that's the new one. I retired before that came on. I'm yeah. talking the old one with a push up, sit up, two mile run. Mm -hmm. Two mile run and the sit ups were hard for them. Yeah. The, the push ups were pared down. They only need to do like 15 or maybe 20 push ups. Yeah. That's nothing. No. And, and when you see numbers like this, it becomes very obvious why a subsection of the population that insists there are no differences physically or mentally between men and women now suddenly can't define what a woman is. Yeah. They, yeah that's unbelievable. And look, yeah. and these women play, the, you know, I can do anything a man does until a man shows up, says he's a woman, and kicks your ass! <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> Totally true, though. Hey, if he can't stay in the heat in the kitchen, stay away from the cook. He always picks subjects that are going to spin me up, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, I never mean to spin you up, but... That's a bunch of bullshit. Maybe this will cool you down. Because uh. we have a story today ah. from a fan who goes by the <clears throat> name Rogue Economist. Okay. And this is our little... Crimson capsule story from an old guy. He's currently seventy years old. So he's been there, done that. He's on. He's on the sixteenth hole. Yeah, yeah. I, I would actually, if you're, I think current uh, age, usually for men, where they kick their rare addictions around seventy-two. I think that's the average lifespan now for a man. Maybe he, seventy-four. It's somewhere in there. So he's like seventeenth <clears throat> and a half hole. Yeah, he's on his way. Or, unless he could have like the longevity, like my grandparents did. My grandma made it to ninety. So. Well, the thing is, once you get past 70, you're literally in dirt mat, uh, dirt nap mode. Yep. Because any day, you're like, oh, this could be my last day. Like, oh, I woke up. All right, cool. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. It's another I day. I like it. Oh, yeah, shit. This is a great day. I woke up. I woke up. <laughs> 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 you know it's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After college in 1976, I opened my own furniture store. Married two years later. A year later, my first son came. Five years later, my second son came, and the first thing I said upon seeing him, I said, <clears throat> he doesn't look anything like me. That's a problem. That's a very big problem. Yep. If your ESP is telling you that, you should probably listen. Somebody else was giving her the old uh, in out, in out. And back then, before DNA, the only way you could do is a blood test for blood types. Yep. What are you going to do? Let's see how this unfolds. My female employees told me, oh, he looks just like you. So the, unconsciously, they don't even think about it. They're covering for this woman's Yes, ass. they are. Yeah, and then we, you know, we get lambasted for pointing out the fact that when, you know, men catch their friends cheating, we're like, that's fucked up, bro. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's not our place to interfere or, you know, to tell anybody what to do with their personal life, but we're not going to be the guy who's like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, oh, yeah, he, yeah, he was with me last night. <laughs> there are other guys who do that? Yeah. Are they dirtbags? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, they is. Oh, man. I was so blue-pilled, I never questioned the possibility that he might not be mine. 99% sure he is not now that I have woken up. Yep. The wife had baby rabies, but she could not have any more children due to endometriosis after him. So she wanted to do foster care and do the baby care thing. 
My furniture store grew into seven over the wow. next 33 years. That's, Very nice. That's awesome. Until it crashed during the economic 2008 downturn when I had to declare bankruptcy. Oh. I'm sorry, bro. And now we're headed toward that again. Bank of America with their little zero interest or zero down payment loans for. Uh, Let me tell you. Only for the uh, the stunning and brave, you know, back, blacks and Latin X community. They're going to get ripped apart in court. Oh yeah. yeah there's going to be some lawsuits in B- Bank of America. That is literally racial discrimination. And also, it's bad business. Yeah. Where are the Asians on this one? Uh, are, are, are they like white by proxy now? I think so. It seems like no one gives a shit. Uh, yeah. I mean, the black on Asian hate crime thing was in the news for about five seconds when they were trying to say it was a conspiracy theory, but then they got their assholes chewed inside out for that yep. because the facts are the facts. It's, yeah, look at the uniform uniform crime report. It gives you all the stats. Exactly. That's, but, woo. That's a cold ass. That's a very cold ass. I bet it matches her shoulder if you're under yeah. six feet tall. I'm going to be honest, uh, you need to steer clear of that. <laughs> If it looks expensive, it probably is. Yeah, you need to box that uh, hazard area. <laughs> Go around it. <laughs> I had a female office manager who stole almost $300,000. What the fuck? I had proof and had her dead to rights. Went to the police who told me, yep, she's guilty, but you won't get the money back, and she's the mother of three little kids, so no jury is going to send her to jail. Yeah, and you know what I would have said? Fuck you. Do your fucking job. Do your fucking job. And if they said no, you file a lawsuit for sexual discrimination. There you go. They're applying the law different between sexes. That's fucking a no-go. Exactly. Or you could do this. You could go the admin uh, administrative violence method. Write some letters. Write some letters. Get the IRS on her for not paying taxes on that stolen money. She's got three kids. Write letters to CPS. Yeah. Insist that there's drugs being sold out of the you home. You do all the kinds you of shit. Do. And you, you could involve the, the FBI. It's over a certain dollar amount. If there's in, if she traveled outside the state, <laughs> you could you could fuck her up. I just came up with a new acronym for FBI: Fucker of Buddies Institute. <laughs> we got to write that down. <laughs> Fucking FBI. Is it, do they have any respect left at this point? They already uh, should have had none because they shouldn't exist anymore. They're a relic of the Prohibition era, and, and now they're just corrupt. Uh, Not that they weren't always listen, corrupt, but I'm just saying. I'm going to be honest. Take a drink. Yeah. I <laughs> you said I know it. I know some FBI guys. They're just normal dudes. They're okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, what, what the problem is is the people above them yeah, are the fucking upper it up. Yeah. Yeah, the, pe- like the, the first top three t- tiers of the FBI need to get fired immediately. Yeah. That's why when we hear about whistleblowers, they're not the people at the top. Mm-mm. They're the people at the bottom who have been passed these rules, and they're like, "This is bullshit." I would do the same thing. I would too. I mean, I'm, I'm. Listen, I do the. It's called character. You do the right thing even when nobody's looking. Exactly. And I got myself in a lot of fucking trouble doing that. But lives were on the line, and shit had to. It, it had to happen. That's right. It cost me my sergeant major. Well, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, I'm just following orders doesn't really amount to a whole hill of Didn't shit. Didn't work for the Nazis. It's not going to work for anyone else. Amen. All right. After that here, he had to liquidate. Paid off my small supplies and my customers that had layaway money I was holding, paid my taxes, and filed bankruptcy on the floor plan companies. I was wiped out but still had my house, which was a big asset. Mm-hmm. So at least you're not, you know eating dollar menu out of the back seat of your car not that anybody here would know anything about it's a that. bad place to be we had adopted five biracial children there were three still in the house my wife goes to the cps office and leaves a couple of young foster kids in the car unattended okay what the fuck now, i've heard of people doing stupid shit okay you shouldn't leave kids in your car and just, you leave kids unattended in the car at the cps office yeah well, hey, that was a thing in the 70s, because my mother would leave me in the fucking car oh. to go shopping at Joanne Fabrics for like three fucking hours. I hated that. But at the CPS yeah. office? Yeah, I mean, you're going to the CPS for an interview and you leave kids unattended. Well, yeah, well, back in the day in the 80s, you could do that, but this was after the 2008 downturn, yeah. so people have already started doing the helicopter parenting thing, and... 
Wow. Yeah, you're going to get hammered. That's, yeah. Needless to say, the shit hit the fan. CPS did an in-home investigation during which she was crying. And when asked why she left the kids in the car, which was a huge violation, she said, because he beats me. Hmm. You really couldn't think up anything better. You had to, she had to shove off all accountability and responsibility for her poor decisions by throwing a dude who was already down under the bus. That's kicking you while you're down. Yep. Wow. <clears throat> which I had never, ever even come close to in all these years. I'm sure there were good reasons to, though. Yeah. You, you don't do it, but there's always a good reason. Just ask Bill Burr. All right, so the way this – I haven't read this story, and the way it's playing out is this woman is going to go fucking psycho. Because, you know, he, he did his bankruptcy, and 10 to 1, she's going to want to jettison him to get something better. Yep. Yeah, but women don't do this. Only men are vile. It happened to me. Creatures. I know. So, I mean, I, I, I spent a year and a half in the court. I've seen it before. It happens all the time. The two female CPS workers. Oh, here we go. Both turned and looked at me like I was Hannibal Lecter. Here we go. From that point on, nothing I said mattered. Meanwhile, there's no evidence or proof put forth about this at all it's merely an accusation and she's not saying this in a face co- with a face covered in bruises or anything like that mm-hmm. it's literally just her word after she's been caught breaking the law mm-hmm. but women don't lie a oh, fuck dude. i know what do you mean they don't lie i'm it's it's sarcasm all right even i mean eve <laughs> lied to adam to get him to eat the apple I know. it's like second nature to these ladies man I'd been thrown under the bus when I was at my lowest. At that point, I had the red pill forced up my ass with a ghost pepper enema. God damn, Ooh. that's bad. The one person I thought I could count on had turned on me when I was at my weakest. The ensuing investigation was a living hell. They even went to the school and asked my kids about me as well as many other people. Yeah, they do that. Yep. And that's why accusations like this need to be discouraged in the strongest possible way I mean, women who accuse men of doing crimes or people in general if you accuse someone of a crime they did not commit out of spite or to try to get out of trouble yourself hammered. you deserve to do the exact same time that that crime would inflict on the person you wanted to victimize and li- listen like in divorce court they always pull that out like, oh, I'm scared of him. Oh. He could hurt me. Like it's they the tried to yeah. They're like, oh, he's a Green Beret. He's uh. been to three wars. Oh, she's scared. He's a murderer. I got assassin. Listen, I got lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they did call me in the open court and referred to me as a murderer and an assassin. And I'm so <sighs> Man, fuck the divorce industry. This is just, that's mm. why I do what I do. It's fucking so corrupt and bad, I know. evil. It is, but. Like you said, that's why we're here, and that's why there's 469. We went up on one board. We went, went up, up one, one yesterday. Yeah. Got a rumble comment. First rumble comment. All right. You know, crediting you with saving their hide, winning. There is more. All right. Fortunately, the witch hunt turned out that I was squeaky clean, and they found her guilty and put her on a child abuse watch list. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. I was completely exonerated. Mm. The thing is, he will be legally exonerated. But when you have an accusation it like this levied against you, it will stick with you forever, even if it's on f- it's front page news, because you want to know why? Exoneration doesn't sell newspapers. No, it doesn't. Ugh. Mm. I always felt like that there was nothing wrong with being knocked down. There's a lot wrong with not rising from the canvas. That's now my that I philosophy. Was, yes, absolutely. Like Rocky says, it's not about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Now that I was broke, she wanted a divorce, and I knew that all was left was the big equity in the house, and I needed that to retool my life. And I didn't need to lose the house and pay a boatload of child support. I said, we will sell the house and split it. She said, no, I get the house since I have all the kids. I calmly asked her, so you think that you will get the kids? Being on a state child abuse watch list. (laughs) All the color drained out of her face, and she said, 
You wouldn't do that. Oh, yeah? I smiled and said, try me, bitch. Yeah! I love it. My terms were simple. We would stay together, uh -huh. raise the kids, but all money and property would be transferred into accounts in my name only. And I would call all the shots. Otherwise, I planned to move to the north slope of Alaska, take the kids with me, and teach school as a second career. All the right. youngest was a four-year-old little girl who was the center of her life. Checkmate, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> That's good shit. I like yeah, it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. We have stayed together in separate <clears throat> rooms. The kids have had the advantage of having a mother and a father on site. The last one graduates in May. I did get a teaching certification and taught in Texas for 13 years, close to where Blake's parents lived. Actually, not my parents, but my wife's parents lived down there. Uh, retired this year for repentance of being a fucking simp, blue pill dumbass. For all those years in the last week of school, I would separate out the senior males and I told them, Now I'm going to tell you things that no one else is going to tell you. <laughs> and then spend an hour telling them about the nature of women, the blue, and the red pill. Yeah! Every teacher needs to do this for yes. their, for their oh kids. Oh, my God. The traps they face as young men, the big head versus the little head, etc. I also give them YouTube links to your videos. All right. Thank you. Last year, a senior said he learned more in one hour than in his whole life combined. Wow. I just wish someone had told me about the red pill 50 years ago. So keep up the good work. I salute you. Signed, Rogue Economist. All right. Well, you know, I'm here to save lives, bro. And I want to get to these men as young as i can absolutely before they slip on by the goalie doing stupid shit and fucking turn themselves into slaves yeah and like this gen z generation you know <laughs> they're they're starting to graduate from high school now going into college what have you this is the only fans generation and unfortunately for them a lot of these female only fans is their only plans yeah so you need to be educating these kids as young as you can so if you are a red pill dude and you are in a position of educating these kids send them links to our content content like strong successful yeah, yeah. <clears throat> hammer hand hammer hand yep like, hammer hand is a straight shooter just like me yeah you got to show these dudes the truth yeah because that's it's no not what, fucking joke yeah that's not what public education <clears throat> is wanting to teach them they're going to teach them the blue pill scent mangina role and listen we have a system in place that literally puts the yoke of slavery on you the minute you say, I do. Yep. Okay. And then there's the whole divorce industry that destroys love and hope. That is the most evilest shit you can do on the planet. Why it's allowed to exist, I have no fucking idea. And even then, if you abstain from that altogether, nowadays, that yoke of slavery doesn't require a wedding band. You, oh. They can force you to pay child support. You oh, don't yeah. have to be married to her. Well, if it's your kid. In different states or different countries like Canada, Kanukistan, if you live with her long enough, oh, yeah. you're considered common law marriage and you still have to pay her alimony. Same fucking thing. Yeah. All Listen, right. Um, Even when marriage rates go down, evil Marxist pricks will figure out a way to turn you into a wage cow anyway. They did the same thing in ancient Rome. Yep. They will milk their, if you are a dude, their intention is to use you up and milk you dry. They called it a bachelor tax. Yep. <clears throat> and there's even been some rumblings about that getting instated in this country. Well, if you're a bachelor tax, then you're not paying as much in taxes as you should be. Why is Go it Demo fuck yourself. Look, Democrats are the ones who, who taxed everybody to death and forced max exoduses out of their states, but people still aren't paying their fair share, even though we're being taxed at higher rates now than at any time in recorded history yeah, in this country. Yeah, I know. It's insane. Kiss my ass. Yeah, suck a dick. Suck a dick. Oh, my Lord. Just like this chick. I'm sure she's, she's sucked quite a few. That one looks like a Mexican chick. I dated when I was in college, except she had bigger tits than this one. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't really have a whole lot going on upstairs, does she? Figuratively and literally. Yeah, I'm sure. Right. But you can subscribe to her OnlyFans for $5 a month and get a good look at her butthole. <laughs> you mean the blue knot? Because that's real work, even though you don't want to be taxed on it. Yeah. The beat up uh, bubble gum down there? <laughs> oh, like man. A, a vertical axe wound? Vertical axe wound. Yeah. She's got a vertical axe wound to grind. Speaking Absolutely of great. which, any final thoughts? Uh, well... Uh, it, dudes, it is getting to the point of absurdity here. My advice to you, 
Don't mess around with the ladies. Focus on yourself until you get yourself in a position where you can even think about doing something like that. And even if you do, you do it one time. If it fails, don't keep going up there to get fucked over and over again. Because that's exactly what Murphy will do to you. Yep. You know, one half rule. First time you're married, you lose half your shit. You can recover from that. Yeah. Second time you lose half your shit, you're worth one quarter of what you would have been if you never got married. Third time, one eighth. You know, four time, one sixteenth. Yeah. It do- it doesn't get fucking better. It's a life lesson you can literally teach to young men while eating pizza. Yeah, and we're actually going to film a pop culture called Sell Me Marriage. <laughs> Sell Me Marriage. <laughs> and that one is designed for dudes who have buddies who are like, oh, she's different. I want to she get married. We're going to get married. Uh, yeah, sit them down in front of this and be like, here we go. <laughs> it is what it, it is. It is such a fucking farce. Uh, it, it used to have the, the purpose. It was the bedrock of the nuclear yeah. family. As soon as they destroyed that, at that point, prior to that, you could say, "Well, yeah, marriage is what's expected of you as a grown-up in civilization." Yeah. Now, yeah, I mean, it's for you if you can make it work and you actually find a decent person. But those people are becoming more rare and more expensive to find. And listen, um, they're so rare it's not even worth looking for them because you make one fucking mistake, you're fucked. Yep. Like those and guys, not in a good who, way. those guys who are slipping by the goalie to the strippers, <laughs> fucking their lives are fucking just well, nothing but chaos and fucked up. <laughs> you never ever bet against a stripper, sex oh, worker, ever. No, 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 bad news bears. Nope. All right, dudes, thank you very much for tuning in, supporting the channel. If you guys want to be kept up to date with the plight of men and the evil patriarchy. <laughs> Make sure you hit the subscribe button and consider making a donation if you want to watch special live streams with this fat punisher every Sunday night. All right. Suck a dick. Take it easy.